Hey guys, it's Clint and Shell. Hi. She's in. I don't know if you heard her. She said hi. She is working on the computer. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Um. So I we just both woke up from our nap. It's raining here, windy and raining. It's nice. It's nice and cool. Let me. Huh? I did already. She told me um, to set up my camera correctly. I hadn't um, moved it while she was there, when she was in here. So, uh, this is a shabby dabby doodah. Shabby dabby. Huh? Shabby dabby. I don't know why I want doodah on the end of it, but oh, it is. I thought it was. It's one of those days, guys. Shabby dabby doodah. This is. We are working on. So this is a design team for shabby dabby doodah. I love saying that actually. Um. So yeah, this is a design team project. This is a different. Uh, this is, if you guys have, you guys know my accordion uh, spine, how I do that, how I did it in three pieces. You got your front, your back, and then your spine. Uh, that is, it, I'm not doing an accordion, but I'm going to do how I sewed uh, the three pieces together. And the reason why is this thing is humongous, and it's not a normal uh, size for a, uh, one of our, uh, what is it, 10 by, or 14 by 9 and a half. Uh, it's actually too long. And, but, um, I had cut this. This is my, uh, this is a 9 and a half by 9 and a half, so it would be a travel size uh, notebook. Um, then you would fold, but we're not folding it in half. Um, I have pink on my sewing machine. I used, uh, I think I did this yesterday. I went ahead and when I brought stuff in, uh, I have a very pretty pink. Hold on, let me grab my pink um, that I'm putting this on. So, and it's a, that silky, silky pink color. You know, the shimmery pink very pretty this is somewhat of a I think oriental design is what I would consider it and let me put it right here sorry I have way out my camera I don't have tons of room right now so this is and I'm not sticky crapping this to the pink I will be sewing it um, but you can see the pink through the pattern and it, when I did it, it you couldn't see it really muted all the beautiful pinks in the center and so what I did is I found a I don't know what is a satin or whatever you call it I don't really like it I don't like working with it that much uh, white or kind of a creamish color and when I was doing this, I had saw this. This is just a piece of cotton, white cotton, but it has designs in it. I've used it in another project recently, so it was on my table. And it brought more interest than the uh, just the, the simple shimmery white. So I decided not to do that. And did I just take out my... Guess what? I'm just, um, just undone my dang sewing machine. Uh, it's all right. Sorry, guys. Yeah, they knocked over the ramp. The cats are rambunctious. Uh, speaking of cats, please pray for Gracie. She's still not really feeling that good. So, um, man, it's pouring out there. So we're going to go ahead and try to get her to see the vet. 
She's eating. She's just, I don't know. No, she's just not herself, like Shell just said. And so please pray for her that she's okay. She's a sweetie. I give her a hard time, but I do love her. I call her a princess because she really is a little, she thinks she's a little princess is what it is. That's what it amounts to. But she's a sweetheart, and I just, I love her. She's just such a doll. But it's been raining. It rained most of the day yesterday and off and on today. We've had a bunch of flooding around because the downpours were been so bad that there's been several spots one was over by um McCalmo canyon um yeah they uh six miles east of the state line down McCalmo, which is uh just south of kind or of cortez and um yeah they had some flooding yesterday and I know there's a flood watch out or a warning or whatever. He, not necessarily right where we live, but close by. Um, so what I did is I decided I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, since I sticky crafted on there, I'm going to go ahead and I got pink. And I am going to follow this pink. I am going to um, backstitch. Uh, you guys know I can't backstitch on my sewing machine. And I don't want, I'm actually, I'm not getting into the white. I'm only going to be on the pink. So I'm going to backstitch every time. Just to, I want to make sure it's really sturdy. Don't have any problems with it. So, so it's kind of going to be a slow process. But, I mean, it's not exactly the pink. I was wanting uh, the pink I had it is was super thick and it wouldn't work in my sewing machine so I found this pink it's it's a, it's a little darker than the one I was going to use but um, I don't think it's that big of a deal you know just want to be careful not to get in any of the white. I want to make sure and stay in the pink. I don't want to. I had to shorten my stitches. I had lengthen my stitches for shell. And I kept forgetting about it. And then when I try to use that new uh, thread that I had found out in the my sewing machine hated it it would not work so that's why i decided to be really careful oh you know this isn't horrible i mean it's not bad you can kind of see it very little um i did like i said i did sticky crap the white onto this so I will heat this up and that will set the stitching to it will hold it in place so that won't be t a problem you know scissors seem like they're getting dull boy it is poor in here we had hell I think it was yesterday we ended up having hell but we're doing good other than that I haven't didn't I worked Tuesday ended up walking 13,000 steps Tuesday so that's around six to seven miles somewhere around that so I was pretty well exhausted <laughs> I rested all day yesterday I didn't work today I stayed around the house and trying to rest up hoping I don't have to work tomorrow I prayed about it so um, have to go down to New Mexico Tuesday Plus, we've got doctor's appointment Tuesday, so we got to really make sure it's going to be a quick um, trip over there. I had forgot we had the doctor's appointments when I told him t that to do it Tuesday, but you know, I don't think it'll be too much of an issue. They're in the afternoon, so it shouldn't be too bad. 
happy. Yeah, they've had, I only had emergency today. I didn't have to go do it, obviously. And it was for a sinkhole um, like over in Durango. So, uh, they said there was, uh, there was no uh, dirt left in the hole. It was completely washed out. I think it was a water line, water main break is what it was, I think. So he said, we don't even have to dig it. You can, you can see right where it is. I've had that happen. We uh, was in, when I was in, when we were with Centritel, we had a um, water break over in Ignacio. And it was the same way. I, I phone line actually went right through the, the where the break was, and luckily they um, they didn't. Ha you could see actually the bottom. You could even see. You could. It was crystal clear. You could see the water line, the phone line, everything. It was just incredible that there was that much force to just take out all the dirt. You know, it's not common for us to really have floods here we do get downpours but uh, we have one year that um, we were driving home that was when we had our pickup truck so it's been real long time ago and it actually flooded three three or four different roads that washed them out one of them we had a fiber that uh, was washed out and you could see it bouncing as the water was coming over the road and, and then in the culvert and they ended up the water was about 15 to 20 foot deep on the north side of the road because it was it really it was a really high road right where it flooded and then we had they're called slicks but they're a phone equipment they're the big brown huge big brown boxes i mean they're really big big and I called the phone company because it was flooding across the road where that was, which is Highway 491. And by the time, I think he was in Dolores, by the time he got to it to shut the slick down, he was standing in two foot of water, two or three foot of water. It was incredible. And that, it was just, yeah, there was several. Well, we've had a flood here at our house ditch actually um, we had so much water it washed the trash cans all the way down to the highway so it's about three three hundred foot and when we got down there they it was completely filled with mud it was just incredible that much that much uh, rain we haven't had that recently there was water um, you could tell it had um, flooded been high because the grass was um, pushed down where the water flowed over it but, but yeah it was it's been a, a good rain for us this is our reservoirs are so low it's just horrible the, the drought we're in they said it's been like a 20 year drought basically so it's been pretty pretty rough I can see it barely so yeah I, I'm I'm happy with it I really am that I'm glad that it wasn't too uh, too much of a difference because I had really wanted to do this I'll probably go ahead and might go ahead and do the seam the top too I'll have to look so But yeah, we've had some pretty good storms here. Of course, you know, when I'm always, when no, it, you know, I always had to go out in all of it, you know, the blizzards and the rains and everything. I had one time I had a water leak and I had to borrow his, his hip, hip boots because the water was so deep so I could mark my phone line. <laughs> been a fun event uh, eventful that's for sure 
I've had emergencies in the middle of the night, 2 o'clock in the morning, have to drive 100 and some miles to get to it. So luckily I don't really have that anymore now. I've, I, I don't have that much buried fiber, so there's just not as much to do. You know, when we had, it's been about three years ago, I think, when we had the fire up in Durango, and then we had, that summer, we had some really bad rains in it. A whole bunch of mud everywhere. Quite quite something to see. Boy, my scissors just aren't very sharp. You know, I think I'm going to go ahead and do the outside. Just to make it a little bit more cohesive. That way it's kind of, you know, similar to... It's going to be a neat journal. I'm really excited about this journal. Yeah, this was given to us. Who gave us this, honey? Eileen? What? Who gave us the doily thing? Yeah, Aileen? Aileen? Yeah. yeah, Aileen, sorry. Yeah, I don't know, I'm not 100% sure how you say it. But. So, this has been in the works for a little while. So, I'm kind of excited to get going. Why did that beat? Oh, well. Oh. Gotcha. Honey, it's not like I don't have things going on, you know. <laughs> Whatever. Oh. No, I talked to you. Oh, yeah. What time is it? I don't know. Do you want to look at it? I think it looks nice. I mean, we well, have a vegetable lasagna for for supper. I am, anyways. Oh yeah, you can't even tell. You just barely see it. I mean, so, that looks really nice. So I did this one too. Yep, I like it. I think it's gonna be pretty. Good job, Daddy O. Hope everyone's having a wonderful day. This is tomorrow's, right? It is tomorrow. Friday. Friday. So this yeah. is Friday's video. Hope everyone's Friday is awesome. Oh, it feels like it. I tell ya. So it's been a good, pretty good week. Like I said, I didn't work Monday, but I did work Tuesday. And we'll see. Like I said, I prayed about it. I really don't have to go anywhere. <laughs> Especially having to go to to Durango, huh? To, f to Well, there is one due tomorrow, but I'm hoping I can get out of it. No, don't get too close, guys. Not very, yeah, that thread was, it was really a thick thread, too. I don't, it was a cotton thread. Pretty color. That's one reason why I was going to use it. Hey, come here, guys. Be careful, Wilbur's right behind you. Okay, I don't know. It says good Okay. I like it, I think. Not exactly. Some of it was a little short. I think not, you're doing a good job, Daddy. Not too worried about that. So, I love you, baby. Okay. 
mean, I'm trying to learn something new. That's not going to work that because uh, I have to take it down so short, so small. The picture, yeah. It's all pixels, pixelated. It's way too. Yeah, for your one thing. Yeah, so I'm trying to find something else. Yeah. We have some news to share uh, share with you guys. I don't know when, but... Well, Shell started a blog, starting a blog, um, trying to get everything set up, and I've been starting to take pictures with everything now. I have a really nice camera, but I just don't use it. I haven't used it for quite a while, so I'm really excited. I've always loved photos I got that love from mom mom always out taking pictures and so I'm really excited about it. it's gonna be fun we're trying to make it like I said to be able to for to work from home and not rely on the locating yeah but you never know Go see Dr. Thursday or Tuesday, so talk to her about the x-rays so we know what's going on. Hi, bud. Well, 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 look who it is. Turd bat. What are you doing, wee over dude? He's so sweet. He loves my ear. He's always nibbles on my ear. but he And he gives a kisses, but every now and then he bites and it hurts. have a goat his name is locomotion I, we've shown him he loves ear kisses but he's not very gentle he hurts <laughs> we had his brother was sagey he's the one that passed two winters ago and he was so gentle he would just give you kisses on your ear and it was so loving and loco feels like he's ripping your ear off but you know yeah, I love our babies. I know that much. You know, ask Steve how the what three we gave him are doing. Gonna have to try. It. Boy, our grass is green. We haven't had green grass at this time of year forever, so it's really really green. Which is nice with the um, hay. They don't, we only they only got one cutting of hay this year, so it's going to be kind of rough winter. I need to call some friends of mine and see if I can get us some hay for winter. Now that we only have four, so it should last a while. Okay, let me make sure I got them all. I think I do. So now I need to move Wilbur Dude, and I need to put sticky crap on the inner facing. So actually, let me move him. I need to do a little cutting anyway. So I need to iron and everything. I guess you guys can watch me iron and stuff. I'm going to move my little booty. Okay, little bud, you need to get lost. Oh, by the way, guys. I need help. Um, I need bobbins. These are Singer bobbins. Uh, they have a hole on each side, but they're opposite, like one's right. A lot of times they're not even with each other. It doesn't really matter. Uh, it uses the hole for the bobbin winder. And I'm not asking for charity, but I want to buy some. So if anyone has some of these, even if it's a two or three, I would really appreciate it. Um, just wanted to throw that out there because it... Yeah, send us a message on our Etsy or through the email. Huh? Yeah, the email is in the details. Sorry, guys, she's talking. Uh, let me move my tablet. That's our... That one tablet. Oh, so I got my things. Let me iron my fabric real quick. Uh, hopefully it doesn't shrink too much. I guess we're going to find out, aren't we guys? 
Remember that last one I did? Boy, that one shrunk a lot. I had a Tuesday. It was such a pain in the butt. Let me, um, my locator cord broke. Uh, very first job, when I, and I was in Durango <laughs> all day, Bayfield and Durango, and it broke the very first job in Dolores. So I fought it all day long, and I still need to fix it. I have another one that I need to fix it to, but oh, it was such a pain in the butt trying to locate and not having my cords work right kept coming undone as I had one of my uh, uh, the gas station I know uh, the owners and they're friends of ours and I asked him if if he had a a uh, soldering iron he said he wasn't sure but go talk to him and ask him so I talked to him and yeah he had a soldering iron but it didn't have he didn't have any flux so that didn't work and I ended up just tying the wires together doing that and it was yeah it was a challenge that's for sure trying to yeah it was a very fun 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 time trying to get that dumb thing working I need to turn my iron down so I don't melt this stuff so I had to get water Boy, it's so hard to get good. It might. Let's see. So, yeah, it was such a pain in the butt all day trying to do that. And then I got, you know, she went to get groceries and then and to get pill, you know, prescriptions and everything. Well, the prescriptions, the prescriptions weren't signed yet at the doctor's office. So I had, so she had them call me when they were ready. So I called her and then she gets to the pharmacy and they can't, didn't have any way. To, there was only one person there at the time. I'm sure she told you all this, but... Since I wasn't outside, so I ended up, um, I ended up going and picking up the pills. So, but yeah, it was a. And then I needed gas. I knew. I knew I had enough gas to get to Cortez from Durango, but I wasn't a hundred percent certain. And when I get there. Um, of course, they, um, uh, sorry, I, I needed to get, yeah, why is that not, that should be nine and a half inches, why is it, uh, I have, Safeway doesn't have a gas station here. And then we go and that is short. I don't know what I did that for. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's alright. It'll work. So I was supposed to stop by City Market to get gas, but unfortunately I forgot. So drove home thought well I'll stop and get it at the gas station on the way but it's just more and I had like 20 or 30 cents off at city market then I thought I know I have a five gallons worth of gas at the house so I went ahead and risked it and made it home but oh I tell you it was in a, one of those days I was like man I forgot to get gas it's like seriously Clint bother cutting this yes, I'm just making sure I'm right here I was 
just like a man. You talk about oh my brain, I tell you. Some days. That one's going to be for the inside of it. Let me do this real quick. Okay. Let me make sure I get this on the right side. I think that's the wrong side right there. So. Hmm. It's kind of almost exactly the same. Really? No. That's the right side, so let's do it this way. Now, the reason I was going to put, do that, and uh, use this, you know, a square, but the problem is with that, I need, um, I'm going to be mitering the edge on the, on it, and so I need the sticky crap to go all the way, um, on the part or part I miter over, so I really gotta have this. Okay. Yep, that should be big enough. But I did make it home, and I still have an eighth of a tank of gas, which in that forerunner is really not that much. Make sure I get this right. Okay know how I am when it comes to that's definitely the wrong side so okay okay I have any threads on this thing to threads everywhere in here. So. But it was a good day. I mean, it was just a long day. I'm just thankful she'll do grocery shopping because I really don't like to go when I've worked 10 hour day or whatever and then have to go get groceries. It kind of sucks. <laughs> but I'm sure a lot of you are that way. But, you know, we live three miles from town, three miles from the grocery store. So it's not really, you know, a hop, skip, and a jump over there. I'm excited about this cover. I think it's going to be really neat. The reason why I'm wanting to do this is because, like I said, I'm not sticky crapping this on the pink. I'm going to sew around the edge and probably... going to be at an angle, so it's going to be pretty, oops, sorry guys, it's going to be pretty, I like the idea of how it's going to look. One thing with this heat and bond is you definitely want it to cool completely before you um, try to peel the backing off because it is a nightmare if you don't, don't want to accidentally get any on my mats. I don't have the baker paper on it. I've now been figured that out, you know, just the hand thing. Got to be careful. And also right there. Uh, oh well. I won't be using that piece. There's a little piece of sticky crap hanging off. So I don't want that on my iron. Well, it seems to be doing pretty good, guys. I don't think necessarily it's going to be, um, doesn't seem to be curling or anything. Oh, yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, I think it's going to be fine. So, what I'm going to do show you. Okay, so let's do this. Yeah, let me 
got to try to draw an X on this. So let me get this. I have two of them. So let me. Supposed to be 44 degrees in the morning, guys. That's what it said. Oh, I didn't tell you that, did I? Yeah. 44 degrees. Uh, with this, uh, you can actually... Let me, Use the backing that you pull off of it as a raceable or a um, baking instead of baking sheets, paper, baking paper, whatever you call it. And instead of that, you can actually use this and it won't stick to it. So heat it. Like I said, I'm trying to be really careful and not really get this um, on my iron. It's not exactly fun to get it to um, clean off. I did use, I was, I googled it on her, on the non-stick iron, which of course it sticks. Um, you use a dryer sheet. Yeah. So yeah, I use a dryer sheet to clean it. And I'll tell you what, it works pretty good, really. Yeah, before, just make sure that you let it cool before you pull this back off because it's going to stick to it. So. Really just need a half inch for the most part on the edge. So, not tons. Make sure it's not going to... I'm going to make sure I have it right here enough. And then I'm going to flip it over. And iron it. The okay. So I'm going to make sure we don't get that on my wall mat. Good thing is you can see the outline of the turn it down a little bit because it's pretty high when it comes to that. Some fabric it will leach through your this will go through your fabric so you kind of have to be kind of careful when it comes to that. Yeah, make sure I have it all I need here. Okay, guys, this should be good enough for right now, at least. So let me, I really don't want all this fabric. I don't want to mess with all that fabric. So let me cut it off. Yeah, oops, I'll set it on that. So, like I said, I'm going to do about a half inch. So do that all the way around so I don't want to run the risk of getting this on my iron and I don't have the inside on and uh, the reason being is since I'm going to stitch that I really don't want to have the inside stitched with the mats. Didn't let my wool mat cool off. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm not mitering right now. So now that I have that, let's go ahead and, let's go 
going to be like this. So let's get my mark, my pen. So I'm going to lightly mark it. Like I said, it's erasable. I didn't really. Erasable ink. So that's nice. Heat erasable. Didn't really give it very good. Try not to do it very heavy though, because so then we're gonna have to. I got the glue, so let me figure out about where we're gonna. Man, that's, this one's hard to see right here. There we go. Put a point on the. Okay. Okay. That should be good. I am going to stand here, I guess, for a minute. Okay. It's not a hundred percent square, so that's the only downside to it. But you know, it is what it is. Or some people hate that saying. Um, but there's nothing I can really do about it. I mean, if it's not a square piece of thing, then there's just nothing I can do about it. So I'm going to try just to make sure I have these lined up. And these similar probably can probably see. Well, that would be, that one's off just a little bit, so... We'll just put it right here and call it good. Like I said, this is heat erasable, so that is nice. Let me put that on. Like I said, I'm just mainly trying to to um, basically stick it down so I can sew around it. I kind of hate that it's that way, but... And I could have used um, sticky crap to stick it down. I was really hoping I wouldn't have to, truthfully. Well, not definitely not gluing. Hmm. You know, guys, I don't think I'm going to have a choice. I think I will have to do it. Darn it. I really didn't want to do that. So, but... You got to do it. You got to do it. And there's nothing I can change that. So, and I can't have baker paper. Where am I put it? I dug through. I did the... You know, we... I, oh, I dug through... Moved all my, I did the inner facing today, I ironed it, ironed it, and needless to say it was kind of a, so, okay, my thing here. But that's okay, it does, will make it shimmery behind it. I just was kind of thinking that. And maybe it will help straighten it out. Maybe that would be a little bit better. But we'll find out in a second. I just love this. I think it's a beautiful piece. I don't know what it came off of, or, but it's just beautiful. Just trying to make sure it sticks well.
No. Still not, not transferring very well. So. Got a dang piece of string on there. I was trying so hard not to get it on there. edges so stragglies because you will see it I mean if it's got it definitely will show up on the fabric and it's not I mean it's not horrible but it definitely shows up some of this actually is the uh, back of the stuff they put the on so two Rain's supposed to end today. Today's the last day of the rain, so. Poor Chloe has been thundering at lightning, so she's been really scared, so. She hides underneath the dresser, how she fits in there, I don't know, but I guess when you got that will to do it, you do it, I guess, because, yeah, she, she, uh, I don't know how she fits in something that small. Okay, so. okay. Pretty close to being yeah, it's just not not the way though. I don't know. Wish it was a little bit more centered. You know, I guess it doesn't matter too much. And uh, does to me, but I think that's about as probably as good as I'm gonna get it. I'll fold this over. This is the baker's paper, and it has residue on it, and I don't want it. So let's stick it down. So I'm gonna finish this, and I gotta wind my bobbin. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause it, and get this ironed, and then we'll be right back, and I'll start doing the sewing on this one okay I got my bobbin wound a little bit apparently when I was winding it, it was cut the thread on the spool was cut so I have enough to do this and I'll probably do a different color anyway uh, I won't use it I'm sure on this part so I, I don't have a lot of time left so I'm just gonna go ahead and start and then this is gonna yeah my thread here. I uh, probably will. Okay. Go ahead and back stitch. I really don't think it's necessary with considering it's got all the stick stuff on it. I really shouldn't matter.
spine tingling video, isn't it, guys? I almost made Shell choke on that one. I, and I could have not sewn it, but I just didn't want any loose edging. I really, you know, I want to look nice and not um, come up anywhere. And I just figured it's best just to fucking stitch it. You know, it amazes me that this sewing machine is 104 years old. You know, it just, it just, yeah. Well, in this interface, and it gets pretty thick after a while when you start adding sticky crap and everything else, and it still goes through it. You guys looking forward to the Winter Olympics in February? I am. I love the Winter Olympics. I'm not a big fan of the summer one. We watched it but and recorded some of it on our DVR, but it really wasn't. It doesn't really. I love the Winter Olympics. and I like all, pretty much everything. I really love the curling. Last winter, last Olympics was the first year we watched curling and we both fell just in absolute love with it. So I'm really looking forward to that again. Really, it doesn't take that long to go around it, really. I'm going through it like I need to. And I chose this color even on the bobbin because I really didn't want you to see the thread on the inside either. And you shouldn't. I know I haven't even shown you the fabric for the inside, which of course is going to be pink, but it's this pink. I think it's beautiful. I think it's going to go really well. Maybe one more. Like I said, I just don't want it to come up or anything. That's one thing I love about the hand sewing machine is you would have a hard time doing this if you had a um, electric sewing machine. Really, as you can stop in the middle of a stitch and with the hand crank, it's so much easier to do things like this. Really? Oh, well, guys, I'm going to continue this. The battery's about done, and I probably will not finish the video today. I'll probably finish it tomorrow. I'm actually almost there. Uh, guys, uh, please give the video a thumbs up and please hit the subscribe button. Welcome to all our new YouTube family members. We uh, appreciate you spending your time with us and we just uh, want to thank you again. Thank you for visiting the, the Ratcliffe. Mm -hmm.